Hey guys, disclaimer lang, this is a client's build and yung priority dito is aesthetics, not so much sa performance. Kasi as per client, okay na daw yung performance ng current build niya na Ryzen 5 2600G without graphics card. Pero, naka-dual monitor kasi siya ngayon and hindi niya gusto yung VGA na port. And the only way na makapag-dual monitor ka na hindi gumagamit ng VGA is a dedicated graphics card na merong HDMI and display port. Hence, this build. Now, for the processor, Ryzen 5 4500. Meron na itong 6 cores and 12 threads with a base clock of 3.6 GHz. It's powerful enough para sa pagagamitan ng desktop. Nabili natin to sa halagang 3,153 pesos with voucher. Yung board naman na napili natin is ASRock B550M Pro SE. Ito napili natin na board purely dahil sa aesthetics na white. And compatible din ito with polychrome software for ARGB. Nabili natin daw for 5,589 pesos. Cooling the CPU naman is Deepcool AK400 for 1,479 pesos. For the RAM, PNY XLR A 2x8GB with a clock speed of 3200MHz for 2,954 pesos. For the storage, we got Lexar and M710 500GB at 2,274 pesos. Sa GPU naman, since constraint yung budget, we opted for second hand. And ito yung nakita ko. Gigabyte RX 5500 XT for 4,500 pesos. Alam ko, sasabihin nyo, ang off naman. White yung boom build, pero yung GPU is black. Here's my solution. Plexiglass na white yung design. Pwede kayo umorder nito online. Maglalagay ako ng link sa description. Pero, heads up lang, walas lang special cut. Horizontal and vertical lang yung cutting nila. Yung ganito, ako na yung nag-DIY with the help of rotary grinder and counting linya-linya and sanding na din. Balik na tayo sa build. For the power supply, we have FSP Hydro K Pro 750 watts. This is more than enough to power the system. Nabili natin to for 3,220 pesos. And yung case na napili natin is the Techware VXN. Dual chamber ito and meron na din itong 3 free ARGB fans. Nabili natin to for 2,525 pesos. Kumuha din tayo ng extensions na white para sa aesthetics for 973 pesos for a total of 27,167 pesos. Here's the thing. This build is mainly focused sa aesthetics. If gusto nyo mag-build ng performance focus na desktop, ito yung i-downgrade and i-upgrade ko. Una is processor. From Ryzen 5 4500, upgrade it to 5500. Then, downgrade mo yung motherboard to A520 or B450. Next is tanggalin mo na lang yung CPU cooler. Stock cooler is enough. Sa case naman, hindi mo kailangan ng dual chamber. Yung cable extension, hindi mo rin yan kailangan. And yung custom backplate ng GPU and yung side plate, hindi mo rin yan kailangan. Kung gagawin mo yan, maging around 22,000 na lang yung cost ng build. So, pwede mong idagdag yung sobra sa budget mo para sa GPU. That's it for the video. If meron kayong mga tanong or comment, comment nyo lang. If you like this video, press the like button. And if hindi ka pa subscribe pa-subscribe na lang din. Thank you for watching and bye for now.